How's it going everyone? Uh, it's starting to get pretty cold in the mornings here. Um, about every day this week we've had a frost. Uh, and uh, yeah, definitely starting to feel it. On today's episode, we got a fair bit on today. Uh, we got to go put the hay away. We had a load of hay come last night. Um, so we unload that and now we just got to put it away in the shed. Um, we go through roughly around about Around about a truckload of hay every, just over every month. Um, it's around about, around about 20, 28 bales every month. Um, more so because we have horses that are, are working horses and also uh, growing horses. A lot of these horses don't fully develop to around about the age of um, 8 to 10 years of age when they really stop growing. Uh, so they're like teenagers till that time. Um, most of our horses, our oldest horse on the property is around about 13 years of age, which means most of them are young and they, they like to eat a fair bit. So that's the hay just behind me that we just got to put away in the shed. Um, after that, we've actually got the council coming out, just come and talk to us about uh, future plans, permits, um, and hopefully we can get our weddings and, and different events back on and, and going ahead with. Um, so we're pretty excited about that. They're pretty willing to want to help. So um, Yeah, it should be good after that uh, We've got to just go up the top paddocks, which are right right up there and The um, the barks come off the a lot of the trees this year We dropped a lot of bark on the ground and we'll take the hay rake up there and and rake a lot of it up um, because you know when the Sun hits the soil if there's bark in the way the grass doesn't really grow under bark so if we can rake it up we can we can grow some nice grass up in those tree paddocks um which gives the horses a bit of feed uh just let out the goats in the sheep as you can see uh the goats like to play on everything they're up on the the cart there just jumping around like maniacs um, it's pretty well all they do is just run around and jump on stuff and they're like all spotted. But, uh, this one must want to be the driver. <laughs> must want to go for a ride with the horses. <laughs> but uh, yeah, stay on and um, hope you enjoyed it. Following me, as you can see. I better go start the tractor, let it warm up. Um, we've been taking the keys out of everything just because Hunter's starting to uh, learn how to turn stuff on, and we keep on going out, and and something's running or something like that. So we decided, no, nah, we'll just take the keys out of everything, be safer. Um, he does love hopping on the tractor and bobcat and stuff, and he always likes to leave the ignition on too. So, yeah, keep him getting flat batteries. So. <laughs> Cold morning, she's a bit like Puff and Billy. Before I forget, I better put the uh, fuel drums in a ute so when we go drop Bill off at school, I can um, get some diesel and some unleaded.
Tell you what, I reckon it's dropped probably four degrees since we come out here this morning. It's starting to get pretty cold, but um, just on top of the hay, hay pile, it's been quite a, still a bit to go. But beautiful morning. Hopefully those clouds go away and um, we get some blue sky. But look at that sunrise, beautiful. We'll put most of the hay away. Uh, we'll leave a couple out because we've got to put them out today. We'll save us doing that, but uh, we're just about to pull this lorry out and um, get to the hay rake behind it for today. And we haven't used the hay rake for a few years, so it'd be nice to get it back out and to uh, use it for almost what it was meant for. couple of things we got to do to uh, make it usable um, we just got to tighten those shafts up because we haven't used it for a while I think we've got a little bit of shrinkage in the in the shafts themselves um, so we just got to tighten them up and then we'll be right to use it so all we're gonna do is really just rake up all the bark that's dropped from the trees up there pile it up and burn it um, which allows grass just to grow underneath where the bark was Hopefully get a bit more green pick up in those hill paddocks. Uh, we'll probably use, we'll probably keep it easy today. We'll probably just put Noah in it. Um, he's heading across South Australia with us, so gives him a good little workout before he goes, even though he probably doesn't need it. Since he's going to work uh, tomorrow as well. Um, but he's just easy to work with. Um, so we'll just use him. Um, we may... May put a breaker tied to the side, but uh, we'll see how we're traveling. Um, otherwise, I, th I think the breakers are just coming into the round yard, getting a bit of handling done today. Uh, a bit of groundwork. Um, but if they're going all right, yeah, we might chuck them on the side. Um, yeah. And now I'll head inside. Might as well make cover and get ready to take Bill to school. Hmm. Bit of a busy. Busy-ish morning this morning. We've been busy taking down a fence. Um, opening up and cleaning up this creek. Um, some of you may know that we had ran open days and weddings on our property before. Um, and then it's not council red tape. It's just we realised that we didn't have a required permit. So we've had to stop it as you do to correct these things. Um, and we put them on the back burner for a little while while COVID, all of that sort of fun stuff happened. Um, but we're opening up that can of worms again. We have a meeting with uh, tourism this morning and um, planning. So hopefully that goes well. I think they just rocked up. Wow, they've just left. Um, that was a pretty good little meeting. Lots of ideas, lots of avenues to start this process which is exciting dirt on my nose um so yeah fingers crossed everything goes okay it's freezing today um and i think it's time to go inside and have some lunch what what are you doing making making um. all right i just went off and grabbed the shifter and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just tighten up those uh, shelves on the hay rake and then we'll go grab Noah
Yeah, I just went in there and got Noah. And I tell you what, they're all getting a good sugar rush out of this grass coming up. They're um, so the heads are pretty swollen just from from all that sugar. So um, we may just put another round out there just to slow them down on eating uh, so much grass at the moment. Slightly different harness to what we normally use. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to attack you from the other side. The goat turned you around. I'll just turn you. There you. Actually, I need to. Um, I need to order. Unharnessing, and then we had some lovely people come over, Barb and Peter Cuffley, and they had some extraordinary books. So Peter's written um, a few books, such as this one, about horse-drawn vehicles and all kinds of history. So he brought that over, 
Another little book. And this one, all ones that we haven't seen before, which is good. It's always nice to have a flick through. But this one is very special. I can't pick it up with one hand and I don't want to wreck it. It's actually from 1816. How beautiful is it? It's got a bit of damage to it, like water damage, but I think that just adds to the character. What a stunning book. So it's all leather. I shouldn't have had it open like that. I don't want to wreck its binder, but we'll put some um, conditioner or something on it and uh, have a look at that and treasure that. It's extremely kind. They also brought over some um, blacksmithing equipment as well for Matt to, some of it he can use and some is um, some brands and these ones under the carriage did you put it they've only just left so we haven't put anything away just yet so a little tool to measure the circumference of wheels which is handy because we're about to start making wheels steel wheels um, an axle uh, angle <laughs> holder <laughs> some tongs some other cool tools as well and uh, I really like this one. The Coachman Spanner. It's beautiful. So we're very lucky to have such kind people in our lives. Matt's just zoomed off to go get Billy from school. And then the nighttime activities will start from Oz kick, dinner, showers, bed. And then we'll do it all again tomorrow. So. Thank you for watching again, um, and we'll do another vlog in a couple of days. Um, we're also going to be going to the South Australian Heavy Horse Festival um, in Weeruna, Weeruna Cove. I should learn how to say it. Um, and we're going to film a lot of that as well, so we'll try and bring you some footage from there. Um, and yeah, have a good day. Bye. Back to bed. Good night. <laughs> you think? You gonna help me finish up? How was your nap? Two and a half hours. Hey? Eh? It's nearly night time. Alright, let's get this stuff done. Come on.